The Columbia River is a fantastic place. And you know, the neat thing, always this time of year, right? Late April, early May, before the water comes up, a lot of people don't know it, but you get stoneflies. Yes, lots of stoneflies. Right? Yeah. Big stoneflies, <laughs> like big, like three inches long. These big golden stones are hatching. You get yellow salads, you get the big goldens, you get a bunch of stoneflies. So you love working the runs, right? You work the runs with a big bugger. Yeah, because it imitates big stone, yeah. Exactly. And also we'll use a sink tip, so we use the dry line in the run, or in the holes. We'll use the full sink and the sink tips through all these runs to try to get some fish. So hoping weather stays good and the stones come off it. Absolutely. Did before, so. <laughs> right on. We're so our little mini show today, hopefully we're showing you a bunch of uh, action using stoneflies on the Columbia. That's today as so we take you sport fishing on the fly. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Right away we got in the hole. <laughs> yep. Hey, with the big, I put on the big Columbia River bugger. Yeah. Because we saw the stoneflies were like three Keep inches long. Keep the heat long. on them. Keep the heat I on got, them. We're going I, back. I got the heat. Yeah, right off the bat. Yeah. You know, this is a beautiful run, we're in, but we're only in, you know, two to three feet of water, right? It's just a boulder run. Lots of floating debris. You know, we got lots of floating stuff right now, but they can still see that bugger, and that's why it's good, because they're looking. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Every time, oh. every time we get floating debris, you know, like it's all this winter algae. So in the spring, what happens is the winter algae comes up, it comes off the rocks, it dies, and starts floating around. It makes tough for fish and, uh, you know, woolly buggers and things like that, sink tips, but if you can get the fly through there without it getting what I call gunked up, it works pretty good. So this yeah. run goes into a nice pocket. The fish will move all through here. Fish are heading up. You know, you got big guys moving through the system right now, going up to do their thing, you know, in June. So you got a variety at this time of year in the spring. And again, the Columbia River is a big system. It's open all year. And I've mentioned this before in other videos. If you're not comfortable catching fish that are, uh, you know, um, that are, you know, essentially ready to spawn or not ready to spawn, but, you know, they're mature. They're These mature, are mature. Yeah. You got a lot of mature fish moving through. That's part of it. So I'll net this I guy. Oh, that's cool. a gorgeous fish. <laughs> he looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're kind all of right. like little steelhead. Yeah. I'll hold the net. Hey. You got, yeah, beautiful. Oh, geez, you went with the big, big one. <laughs> you went with the monster one. Holy cow. That's... Well, those stoneflies were like yeah, three inches they long. They are big, yeah. Yeah, there's the fish there here. Oh, gorgeous fish. Yeah, yeah, nice fish to start. Nice thick. Oh, nice and thick, yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. look at that. Just gorgeous. <sighs> Beautiful. Right. Look at the colors. Oh, dude, sweet. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let her go. There it goes. Oh, oh that looks like a good one. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, man. Oh, wait. Crazy. I got the little one on. The little, the little river bugger on. Just the little guy. But you know what? This time of year, we love to use the bulldogs, right? The bulldogs are always good. But every time, I find when the water gets a little dirtier, they like that Columbia River they bugger. Like it's a little Columbia. darker profile. And they hit it. And I just lost a little guy. And this one. Looks nice. Yeah, look at the colors on that. Yeah. Eh? They're all variety of colors now yeah. too, from bright chrome silver yeah. to a little bit colored up, right? The ones that are getting ready to run up the yeah. creeks. And... Yeah. Oh, where is he? There he is. Oh, oh there oh, it goes. Nice. There's, oh, there's what I got. The there's, guy. there's the snot, what we call the <laughs> snot. You get a lot of that winter algae dying and getting on the fly, but yeah, there's a nice one. A nice fish. Yeah, look at the colors, eh? Yeah. I'm just gonna let him go in the net. There he goes. Beautiful. Well, we got, this is the first run. Essentially, we've been here 
what, 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Yeah. And hooked three fish, we're showing you two, and we, we haven't even hit the main part of the run yet. So we'll work the runs probably most of the morning, right? We'll probably go till like 11, 11.30, and then we're hoping those stones come off in the big holes. The big and hole. That'll be fun. <laughs> That's always fun. So every <laughs> once in a while, every, every second cast, you have to check your fly because that's what happens, right? You get what we call the floating snot. It's the winter algae that floats down the river. And as they start raising the water, you get more and more of that. And the fish will not touch that fly if you've got the winter algae sitting on it. So make sure you clean it and you have to check your fly, especially when you're working uh, sink tips and full sinks with the woolly buggers. Check it all the time, every second cast. The way we fish it, is your standard down across. So we're casting perpendicular to current, exactly straight across, rod down. I'm just letting that fly sink through. We're, again, we're a little deeper now. We're probably in about four feet of water. And just let that fly slide through and the down across and then slowly bring it back. I'm just using a just little jerky retrieve and just bring it back. A lot of times the fish will follow it in. They'll follow it right up to the boat. We've had hits right beside the boat. We've had hits out down and across. You just never know. It's just you got to keep throwing it out there and see. And again, keep checking your fly for the for the snot. Make sure it's snot free. <laughs> snot, the winter algae free. We worked this run pretty good. Worked it through. We, uh, we caught the two, lost the little guy. We had a couple more on that got the head shakes and off. So I think we got the right flies. We're going to keep working our way down. It's still early. It's only, what time is it, Bulldog? It's only like 10? 10, yeah. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Like, we'll be out here for about uh, 40 minutes. So we'll head down, hit a few more runs, and then the big water probably, hopefully, by 11, 11.30. Yeah. So just moving into that little deeper water, that guy ripped it. Wow. Oh, oh, that's a nice fish. Nice fish. Wow, still on the, still on the woolly buggers until we, until we get rocking. Whoa, gee. Yeah, because it's still early. We did try the hole. So what we did is we worked, we worked the hole up in there with the indicators just to, just to check out the stones to see if something was happening, but nothing. Didn't even get a tap. Actually, Dale had a little guy boil at his indicator. So we came down here to work the, bring the tail out again to work the buggers and right off the bat, a nice one. So chrome guy, see, yeah. yeah, chrome, oh, beautiful fish, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice one. Some chrome. Like I say, you get a whole variety, right? You get the, you get these chrome beauties. You'll get, you know, these big chrome guys are feeding back here. You'll get the fish that are moving up. Oh, there yeah, it is there. All different colors. Oh, there you get just it. a whole yeah. variety of look at this. And my look guy's at, bright chrome. And look at how healthy they are. Look, and that guy didn't hesitate. He smacked that. All right, we'll hold him up. Oh, just solid. Oh, yeah. You know, a solid chrome bullet. Look at the colors on that. Just gorgeous. There it goes. We made it to the big hole. So one thing I like to do, there's a little bit of floating debris. We've got, you know, a little bit of logs from the runoff, a little bit of other stuff. One thing I like to look for is on my sign finder here, my, my sounder. I like to move along and see fish there. Like you like to see them, a lot of times you'll see them at 18 feet, 20 feet, you know, maybe as high as 12 feet. Not many, but just the odd big one. Then you know the fish are up in the hole. Because this hole is, you know, right now we're at 80 feet. And if they're not up in this hole, then uh, <laughs> then they're not here. You just won't get them. Oh, oh what happened there? Oh, you put, I put it on there to test. Yeah, I put it. And we weren't even in the current yet. <laughs> oh, 
No, because the wind was blowing. It was just sitting out essentially in the lake. But here's, whoa. And what I did is I stole, oh, yeah, that's nice. And what I did is I started with, uh, just started with my purple prints before oh, I put on the big stone. <laughs> After I just rigged the big stone. <laughs> well, we, you know, we, we yeah. know the stones will start coming off, but I always like to start small. You know, it's a decent sized purple prints, our standard. And uh, it's always a good indicator if there's fish around. I can't believe there's fish here. We didn't see yeah. them on the sound. Or, oh, you, you saw them when yeah, we moved back, but only moved, a small yeah. pocket. And I thought, ah, we'll test it. This was just sitting right in this calm water, and this guy ate it. Oh, a nice, okay. whoa, no. Oh, Go on. <laughs> nice fish, too. It nice was a real cold. nice fish. Yeah. So the Purple Prince, you know, that's the one we, it's part of our nymph pack. Always a favorite on the Columbia, right? One of the one of the best patterns yeah. we've ever used out here. And you've got the big stone on. Yeah, I just put it yeah. on. Well, well we're wow. going to test and see, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, well, like I said, we've had it just phenomenal where they won't touch a Prince. And all they want is a stone fly once it warms up. So that's a good sign. I can't believe it. We'll see. Nice. Holy cow, you've had two They're of them. They're eating in there. They're eating in there. <laughs> so this is kind of bizarre. Normally, it's really weird. Yeah. Normally, we're way out here. We're way out in that, that flow edge. But what's happened is the wind's blowing so hard, it's got all the, all the debris that the fish are hiding under out here. And it's like almost a fish a cast right now. It's crazy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get a roll in and we're trying to get them out here. We just That's can't. amazing. We can't uh, keep them hooked. <laughs> well, you can't keep well, them hooked. Well, you, you lost one too. I lost one. You've lost a couple nice ones. Yeah, crazy. They're just stacked in this, in this big foam, this kind of debris line, because the wind is blowing all this flat and all the fish are keyed in there. So we'll see. That's your bobber's gone down hard a couple times now. And you got the big stone on. Yeah, big stone. Okay, cool. Well, I might change over. I'll try the purple for a bit and then I'm going over to the to the stone. Oh man, it's wind. Yeah, so we're just working the indicators there. Just working that edge. I finally, the, the wind died for like a second. I was able to get a cast out in the current and right away fish. You know what? The fish are here. Yeah, they want to eat too. They, They're oh, just... oh, not a big guy, but beautiful chromer. They want to eat, but they, you know, it's just we're trying to chase them around all over because this wind is killing wow, us. Oh, your, and your indicator is blowing. Oh, the wind is blowing your indicator around so your fly's moving. Have I ever told you how much I dislike wind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's a nice, nice little chrome guy. Like that's where you, uh, you expect a lot of chrome fish this size, especially feeding on the the prince nymphs. Oh, oh, oh. come on, get in there. Oh, get in there. Get there. in there finally. Nice. And that's so, why the purple prince is always a yeah. good one to start with. You know, there it is, our yeah. purple prince. Always a killer. Look at him. This is yeah. a nice little guy. Yeah, you like can you duck them like down. There's a little wind. Uh, as soon yeah, as the wind there dies. Goes. I know. Every time the wind dies, I'm able to get a cast into that flow. When the and then this pile comes back for Dale, and you're nailing them in there. Yeah, yeah. And and then the wind comes up, and we're pooched again. Yeah, it's moving the fly around like my the indicator's moving. <laughs> Me no likey the wind. <laughs> no. I don't like. Hopefully it dies and we get some action. But I'm gonna keep working the purple prints. You're working the stone, stone fly, yeah. and then once we start seeing more fish on the screen, I'm gonna put on the big stone. Then we'll get at it. Fish want to eat. Oh, another. Gee. I just went over this side into that little ripple, and this guy hit again on the on the prince nymph. And you tried, you tried the bugger, yeah, through the there. One hit. That's one it. hit. No, I just drifted through that little pocket again. I just had, I gotta put my, my life jacket on. I just took it off to get rid of my sweater. <laughs> I see my indicator, oh, go ripping down. Oh, another nice one on the Prince nymph. And I was just about to change over to the stonefly, but this wind is relentless. Oh yeah, it's, I don't know where you can count, like it's just gusting. Well, it's there's two seams meeting here and I think they'll come in here because this is a nice fish. 
And I think these bigger guys will come into the seam to eat. Oh, yeah, look at that. Another chrome bullet. Beautiful. Oh, there he is there. But look at how chrome these little guys are. Yeah. This gorgeous fish. There it goes. Well, here's where I'm fishing. I mean, I've had to go right into here. You can see I'm just casting out in there. And the, the big current is flowing flat along here into, into this back eddy. And the back eddy push is piling all the stuff up, like the trees, the, you know, the wood, and all the food gets sucked into there. So I've just been working this little hole. Normally, we're way out there. We're way out in that seam where all the food's getting pushed in. But with this wind, it's totally changed the whole dynamic of the river. It's just, uh, it's all piling right up in these little slots and that's where the fish are feeding. Ooh, that little one looked better, Dale. That looked like a better fish. That was better. You were kind of a, w a little bit away from the debris. Was, well, because my what happened is the big flow picked up, pushed everything that way, and then this guy. Where we normally catch the bigger where fish. Where we? <laughs> the flow. But you know, even though it's kind of a tragic day for wind, you know, we had to adapt. Yeah. We had to find a new area of them feeding. We've never done this before. We've no. always fished out here. Oh, on the and, oh, that's a nice fish. Again, nothing, no, none of the big boys yet, but I'm hoping they come on. Well, so, they're up. Everything wants to eat. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, just gorgeous. Come on. Ooh. Oh. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Okay. Oh look at purple oh. prince is out. Prince is out. That is being the killer fly, <laughs> the purple prince. So hold this guy up. Everybody. Oh that's that's nice. Look at that. Nice, nice color. Oh look at that. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Just gorgeous fish. Oh. There we go. Now, even for that size, if we were to spoil to get the bigger. Oh, over I know. 20s, right? You but that was that a right. lot of fun with this. Oh, they're yeah. banging them, and that was out in that. <laughs> yeah, in the normal where we yeah. they should catch them, maybe. What the heck? I don't know. But <laughs> hey, when the fishing is this good, keep it rocking. It's good. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not going to have lunch yet either. <laughs> Let's go over the recommended setup. Pretty well uh, standard, like we would use anywhere in the lake or river when we're using indicators. Got my large arbor reel, you know, dry line. I like to use a six foot. 10 foot six weight is ideal for me because the fish can get pretty big in here. And I like to cast indicators with 10 foot rods. Just makes it that much easier. There's a, I've got my, my fly right there to my swivel, you know, a couple feet max. That's all you need. It's a couple feet. I like a little bit heavier a swivel to hold it down here. Not too big, but a little heavier. And then I go straight, you know, I've got straight uh, fluorocarbon about uh, 14 feet right up to my fly line. And that's it. I've got a peg style indicator, a quick release indicator. They now have these new slip on ones that don't, you know, really don't kinkle your line, which are nice, but I'm, I'm pegging right now. Again, we're pegged down seven to eight feet. We're in 92 feet of water and all the fish are up looking. So that's the setup you want to use. And of course, the most critical thing right now, what is that bulldog? The purple prince. That is, uh, that's the winner right now. And that has been effective in a lot of rivers and lakes that we fish in BC, this purple prince. So you gotta have them. Time to get another one. How does it feel? Pretty good? Big. He's Big? staying down. No. He's staying down? No, it's just... Yeah, I think the airport good. runs good I think for he... that, right? They got big boulders out in here. It's all I like that gravel. Good. You can see all that kind of broken rock there. there. Nice I think it's like a, same as what we were catching, probably the 15 to 18-inch 18, 18 chrome. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I oh, think nice. so. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them yet. 
That's what he feels like with the pole. You know when they yeah. wobble, they're not the yeah. giant head shake? Let's see. Oh yeah, oh, yes. it's a bull. it looks like a bull trout. Oh, it is. It looks like a bully. It's a bull it's trout. It's a bull <laughs> trout. Wow. Yeah. That's good, I'm not. See, that's why the Columbia. Yeah. We got everything in here. That's what he is. And though I saw the colors, it looked like a yeah. bull trout. Yeah, he is. Look at how oh, yeah. they're so skinny and. Yeah. Right? There he is. Oh a little. No. Yeah, well, he's trying to he's trying to eat with the rainbows, <laughs> and he's not a very good job. No. Yeah. The bully. But look at the difference yeah. in the. The little yeah, thickness, like a, a little, yeah, a little bull nice trout. Spotting, huh? But look at how beautiful he is. Yeah, gorgeous sure. little bully. There he there goes. goes. Jeez, he gave you a good pull there too. He did when he first hit. First hit, yeah. Well, that current, right? He's yeah. Uh, All right. Well, the airport right. run's always good. You got bull trout sitting out there. You got rainbow. Yeah, there. we got a real big. Remember that one year? I got a real big bull trout right. in here, you about eight pounds or something. Yeah. All right. Let's work through it. No, it looks looks like the average we've been catching. Yeah, today is kind yeah. of a. Huh. Oh, Today's like a 16 to 18 inch day. Yeah. Oh, he's chrome. He's beautiful. Look at oh, that. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I got, oh, oh, barely. I know. Oh, yeah. That's oh. not bad. Yeah. That's, look at how fat. Yeah. Wow. Oh, stop rolling. Oh, and that hooks out. That's all they got to do. Hooks wow. out. Yeah. Nice fish. Oh yeah, look at how fat and healthy. Yeah, like you say, 18 inch fish. Look at, that. Pretty, look at how pretty they are. Pretty nice. They're just gorgeous fish. Now, man. There he goes. Just wow. And we got a bit of that cloudy murk water. You know, the creek's oh, coming out, out there. Yeah. Really pushing, but we got a mix. So obviously they can still see it. They can. Because he ate it right away. Holy cow. That's a lot of fish today so far. <laughs> oh man. I love it. Oh, look at how fat that guy is. Yeah, wow. That is cool. Oh. oh, wow. Hell, look at how healthy. Look at how fat. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Hold him up real quick. There we go. She is. She's a fat one. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Chubby. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the colors. Look at that the rainbow colors, eh? Oh, oh, fatty. Oh, oh. oh. so healthy. Oh, <laughs> been... oh, don't worry about now. Let's see if I can unbutton oh. this guy. Look at that. Look at the colors on him, too. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at how fat. Oh, look at that. See, this guy's definitely male's good. We're getting ready, yeah. but look at how fat they are. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? But that's another good learning with the yeah. color of the fly. Right? We're in the clean water down yeah. there on the other, and they yeah. hit the bulldog. Yeah. And then here now in the dirty water, that's the only thing that's they'll the only hit. The thing will hit the dark profile, right? Dark that's profile. A, a good thing to mention. Any time that we actually fish lakes that are murky or rivers that are dark, dark profile. For murky water. That's Definitely the way does, it is, right? They look very the same size and everything. Yeah. They're they're and everybody boundary, goes but... to you know everybody thinks oh bright day I got to use something yeah. dark. No bright day colorful it's all good. Dark murky you know overcast days. Dark profile. It's working. It works. Yeah. You go <laughs> so you went with the, the buggy prints after <laughs> the purple you. the purple prints not oh, the buggy prints oh the, the purple, purple prints. prints right the purple prints yeah after all day we've been experimenting and I've yeah. been the wrong on the wrong end of the experiment yeah and you say like you you start right off the bat with the big guy you had the big bugger on I had the small one the giant but bugger. you got the fish on that I got one and that was pretty even early yeah then we got to the big hole I started with the pur the purple prints that you have on now yeah and you started with the uh, stonefly and yet the purple prints was all over it yeah right it was way better than way that. better yeah well that's a nice fish yeah then we got yeah. in the murky water and of course the columbia river bugger darker profile worked better in the murky water and in the clear water the bulldog yeah right so yeah. you never know but look at this guy yeah, he's grab nice. this yeah he's right there. that's Get a there. that's a nice one oh yeah look at that just you know that's kind of the size uh, of the day isn't it yeah today those, was uh yeah uh, in that 15 to 18 inch all the things yeah, uh, some up to about 20 but yeah, with 18, 18 to 20. Yeah. You know, 16, probably yeah. 16 to 20, 21 yeah, is probably right. the biggest. Yeah, that's right, more. But just gorgeous Yeah, fish. look at the, he's beautiful. Yeah, yeah look at just a chrome bullet. Now I'll flip him out of there. Man. That's the beauty, you beautiful. get them all, right? Beautiful. You get, oh yeah, yeah, look at that, look at that. Oh my, oh gorgeous. There they go. 
45 degree water, those fish are Ooh. gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we'll give it another, uh, what do we got? Another half an hour and then we're out of here? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. We'll cool. try it for that well, love. It's like the dam we just got here, so. Yeah. And you got the purple prints. <laughs> I'm sticking with the stove fly. Okay, <laughs> you're doing the opposite of me. I yeah. stuck with mine and got uh, my butt kicked. I know, so. I got <laughs> enough fish today. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a wrap. That's it. I agree. Bring it in. Yeah, what time? It's got to be close to five. Five o'clock. Right on. <laughs> Pretty good. Time <laughs> for dinner. So, what did we learn today? Well, we learned a number of things. <laughs> well, yes. We learned big versus small. Yeah. Color was Color, critical yeah. in some. Yeah. And then the other thing I definitely saw was the uh, was when you were fishing stones versus the purple prints too, right? Right. The bugs that they were up when you were in the hole. Used so to was, seeing. Yeah. Yeah, pretty generic. You know, if you come on these big waters, they're used to seeing nymphs. I mean, obviously, men just come off, nymphs and stuff. So you're always going to have luck with that. The rare occasion, like here, we have end of April, early May, we got a stonefly hatch, so you get away with some bigger patterns. The one, the cool thing that I noticed though, was the darker pattern, yeah, right? Yeah, in the dirty water. In the dirty water. And you know, yeah. we've always talked about that <clears throat> dark, patterns for poor lighting or dirty water and that proved out today. Did it ever. Like yeah. I flew through that lighter color bulldog and yeah. you had the Columbia River bugger and just that they look exactly the same size. They just, look so similar. Just darker. Darker, just darker and they were all over it. Yeah and yeah. The, the other thing of course as Dale mentioned size does matter. No matter what they tell you <laughs> size does yeah. matter because it made a big difference, big difference today. Yeah. So when you come out here take care. Conserve our waters and we'll see you next time we take a sport fishing on the fly.